no preamble for this one, just a plea. As you may or may not know, I hang around on Discord in quite a lot of Resolve servers and offer sort of help with Resolve and especially Fusion. One of the most common problems is Fusion comps not working. And when you look at the Fusion comp, it's generally because they've been wired up wrong. I'm not going to go into how to make this outline effect. If you want to do that, there's a video that I will link in a card that will show you. The point of this video is that inputs in Fusion nodes matter. Here we have a pretty Fusion graph that you can reasonably easily follow through and see what's happening. So you've got a green screen that goes into a resize node and a delta Kia that's then manipulated to end up with this nice outline. And this outline is eventually merged back onto the main footage. Fairly logical in its appearance. This is the same thing. This does exactly the same thing. It's the same fusion graph. It's just not laid out very pretty. The point being that it doesn't matter physically where the nodes are on the screen. What matters is how they're connected together. Nodes have inputs and outputs. The white square is always the output from a node. So whatever comes out of the white square is what the node is producing. Nodes also have inputs, the little triangles that are all very pretty colors. They're not just pretty colors for appearance, they're pretty colors because each color does a different job and the inputs matter. The classic stumbling block is the merge node. Merge nodes have three inputs, a green input, a yellow input, and a blue input, and then one output. The colors of those inputs tell you what they do. Green inputs are always foregrounds or top layers, if you want to think of it as layers. Yellow inputs are always backgrounds or bottom layers. Blue inputs are always effect masks. Effect masks only affect whatever comes into the green foreground input. They don't affect the background. On nodes where you've got more than three inputs, so the delta here, the map control, each of these colored inputs has a function and has a purpose. And if you connect your pipe to the wrong input, then it won't work. Now there's several ways to find out what each input does. The first is if you hover your mouse over an input and look in the bottom left of the screen, it will tell you. The second is if you hover your mouse over the input and just hang on for a couple of seconds, you'll get a tooltip that tells you what they do. And third and possibly the most useful way of working out what an input does I'll use this map control as an example. I'll disconnect this pipe. That pipe was connected to the garbage mat input of the map control. Now you could go around and hover over each of the inputs and eventually you'll find the garbage mat. A quicker way of doing it is if you come to the output of the node that you want to use, right click and drag and just drop the pipe onto the node, not onto an input, but onto the node itself let go and you get this little menu of all the inputs that you can use and then you can just select the one that you want. And you know you've connected to the right point. So that's basically it, it's a bit of a rant, I'll grant you, but it does get frustrating is the wrong word. If you're not used to Fusion, you don't know it, but it's one of the fundamental things that you need to know. Each input has a job and it matters which inputs you use. You can't just pipe things in randomly because then your fusion comp won't work. Hope that helps, hope it makes sense. And I will catch you on the next one.